Um, my favorite memory of Grandpa is when I was 11 years old, and I was visiting Salt Lake, and um, I fell off of a bench in his living room, and I broke my arm. And uh, they took really good care of me, and then when they put me on the plane to go home to my family in Chicago, um, Grandpa told everybody, all the flight crew, that I fell off an elephant, and they believed him. And so the entire flight, everyone kept coming up to me and asking me, you know, how I got to ride on an elephant, and was it scary falling off? <clears throat> And so from then on, we called that bench the elephant bench, and I never sat on it again. And um, just, I think that's a really funny story about Grandpa. Um, also, I went skydiving with him when he was when he turned 85, and that was a really cool thing. So um, the biggest thing that I learned from Grandpa is um, actually when Grandma passed away, um, I went and stayed at his house for a couple of days. We were redoing something at our house and couldn't get into my bedroom, so I went and stayed with them. This was probably my senior year of high school. And I remember talking to him a lot about Grandma, and he'd read me the letters they wrote back and forth when they were dating. And um, But after every talk that I had with him, pretty much every day, um, all every day that I was there, we, we talked about her a lot. He always bore his testimony that he He knew that he'd see her again, and that um, that her influence would continue in our family. And as I've missed her so much over the years, um, I've been really grateful for a lesson that my grandpa taught a younger me um, about eternal families and about the importance of the gospel, and um, how the atonement really helps uh, heal the pain of loss. So I love you, Grandpa.